Welcome to this video from revisionbaths.com for Revision World TV, looking at sampling. In this video we cover the types of sampling and look at the examples of a two-way table and how these can be used in math exam questions. The main types of sampling are random sampling, systematic sampling, stratified sampling and quota sampling. And I'll give you examples how each of these sampling methods can be used. Let's start with random sampling. With random sampling, each member of the sample frame has an equal chance of being selected. One way of doing this is to assign each member of the sample frame a number. Random numbers are then generated using a computer or from a table, and those members of the sample frame whose numbers come out are the people sampled. An example of this may be a very large organisation with 2,000 employees. Their HR team wants to know what percentage of the workforce has got the train to work. They randomly selected 1% of the organisation, which was 20 staff, and then asked them. Systematic sampling. Instead of choosing the members to be sampled using random numbers, which might be difficult and time consuming for large populations, systematic sampling uses a simple rule to choose people. For example, every 10th member of the sample frame could be selected. In the previous example, the HR team would select their survey participants by using their employee number and asking every hundredth person. Stratified sampling can be used when the population in question is split into groups who are likely to behave very differently. For example, if we were trying to find the nation's favourite TV programme, most children would probably choose something different to adults. Each group is therefore sampled separately and the results are then collated together. In the television example, if children make up 20% of the population, we would make sure that children would make up 20% of the total people sampled. Quota sampling. Quota sampling involves splitting the population into groups and sampling a given number of people in each group. This method is easy to implement when carrying out market research. For example, if someone is interviewing people at an airport, they may have been told to interview 100 people in total of which 50 people must be business travellers and 50 people leisure travellers. It doesn't matter how they choose those people as long as they are interviewed enough people from each category. Now let's look at how two-way tables can be used to represent sample data. A cafe wants to see how popular its range of hot drinks is. They have three different sizes, small, medium and large. The cafe sells cappuccinos, lattes and hot chocolates. They noted their customer orders on a particular day. The completed two-way table on the screen shows a breakdown of the hot drinks sold. From the table on the screen, we can see that there are a total of 33 hot drinks sold. A typical exam question you may face will ask you to complete the table with certain variables missing. You may also be asked to work out the probability of a particular order. For example, what would be the probability of a medium cappuccino being ordered? To work this out, you simply take the total number of medium cappuccinos and divide this by the total number of orders. So in this example, it would be 5 divided by 33. So 0 0.15 would be your answer to two decimal places. Thanks for watching and remember to check out all of our other videos on Revision World TV. And like this video and subscribe to our channel.